So iOS 17.1 is finally here, the first big update to iOS 17 since its initial release. Now this is a great update, I really love iOS 17.1, it has a few new features and changes, but what's really important is that it has a lot of fixes and improvements, the performance is amazing, battery life is better than iOS 17, and it's overall a great update. And we have also settings that we should change on iOS 17.1, so in this video I will show you guys 14 of those which I believe every iPhone user must change on their device running on iOS 17.1. And we're starting with a setting that it's actually not new, it's very very old, but you should check it out the first time you install iOS 17.1 on your device because of a change here. So head on to your settings and go under privacy and security when you go to location services. Right here we'll have system services and here we have significant locations. I know this is an old setting, but what happened is that on iOS 17, a lot of people when they updated, this setting was turned on automatically by iOS. That was a mistake on iOS, of course, a bug. And a lot of people experienced that. I had that happen to my device here. I always keep it off, of course, but it turned on automatically. Now that has been fixed with iOS 17.1. But what I need you to do is head on to significant locations here and make sure that you have it turned off, of course, if you wanna keep it turned off. Just check whether iOS 17 has turned this on automatically on your device or not. If it did, turn it off, and now with iOS 17.1, you don't need to be worried about it, it won't turn itself on again. Another setting on iOS 17.1 that has been improved and fixed is the action button settings for the iPhone 15 Pro models. So if you have one of those devices, now you can go ahead and turn on here the camera mode or the flashlight because previously with iOS 17 up to 17.0.3, I know a lot of people have actually not used these options because it would just turn on itself on your pocket, maybe just a light press or something like that, and it would turn on the camera or the flashlight. Now with iOS 17.1, Apple has actually fixed that, and it won't do that by accident while your iPhone is in your pocket. Now you can use any action you want, simply by having your iPhone to your face, and of course, using the proximity sensor, your iPhone will sense when you're actually trying to turn those on and will let you do that and won't happen accidentally in your pocket. New settings have been added for the standby mode on iOS 17.1. Of course, the standby mode is one of the biggest new features of iOS 17. Now you will find here new settings under display. So display turned off, you will have three different options. Now, what I suggest you do here is that you use the automatic option. This is probably the best option because your iPhone will sense the room basically the ambient lighting in the room if it's really dark it will turn off or if you're not close to your iphone it will turn turn off otherwise it will have 20 seconds which means that the standby mode stands on only for 20 seconds and then it's off or never which means that the standby mode will stay on the screen for as long as your iphone is plugged in and charging another big new feature of ios 17 is the ability to airdrop via the internet and now you can do that using seller data as well now to do that with iOS 17.1 you have a new setting head on to general here and then go to airdrop and you will find here use seller data now of course this works with wi-fi if you're on a place where you like far away from someone but you still have a wi-fi network it will continue the airdrop via the wi-fi otherwise if you don't have wi-fi you can now also use seller data which means that you don't even need to be close together to continue the airdrop. You can just drive away and the airdrop will continue via the internet. Next up, we're moving to focuses. Now, this is an option that has been added to iOS 17. It's not exclusive to iOS 17.1, but I didn't mention this before on any of my videos and it's actually really useful. So with the iPhone 15 Pro here, what I wanna do when I turn on one of my focus modes, like the recording here, I wanna make sure that I don't have any sounds coming out of my device when I'm recording a video. Now, for any other reasons you might wanna do that, you can now do that with iOS 17, simply by going to your focus mode 
and adding a filter here. So you can see it says silent mode right there. So it's a new filter that you can add with iOS 17. So you enable it, silent mode will basically turn on automatically once you have this focus mode turned on. Next up, we're moving into the phone app. So whether you go to the phone app or to the contacts app, when you go to your contacts, you will have your contact poster and photo. Now, what I suggest you do here is tap right there on the name and then you will have here share automatically. So if you tap there, you can choose to always ask or contacts only. Now the always ask option is in my opinion, the best one because it will always ask you before sharing something with someone. So you don't want to even if you have someone if you're in your contacts, you don't want to share anything automatically, make sure you always choose here, always ask. And now let's go back to the focus modes. Now again, here under focus, you will have some options that are really, really useful when you're using a focus mode. One of them can be found here under options. So go to options right here. And you will have a button that says silence notifications. Now, when you go here, you will have the ability to choose always or when locked. What this will do is that it will silence your notifications with the always option. They will always be silent, but if you if you prefer, to only have them silenced while your device is locked, you can do that here. And that option will let you have your notifications not silenced when you're actually have unlocked your device and you're using it, you will receive the notifications as normal. Another setting you can change with iOS 17.1 are ringtones. Now, of course, you could always change ringtones on iOS, but the new ringtones had been removed by Apple with the initial betas of iOS 17.1. So if you have one of those betas or if you had them and you still think they are not there, actually Apple has just brought back the new ringtones. And now you can go to your ringtone here and select the new ringtones that Apple has added with iOS 17. And now let's move on to some other settings that are not exclusive to iOS 17.1, but I believe it's better that you change on your device. First of all, head on to your settings, go under AirDrop, and you will have here bring devices together. This is basically the feature that lets you just bring a device closer another to actually AirDrop something. Well, it's kind of cool, but I'm a bit skeptical about the privacy side of part of this, so I would actually turn it off. So what I suggest you do is make sure you go here and turn off that feature. On iOS, we have a really great feature where you get like a code for a sign in via email or even iMessage. Both of them will show up the code when you're typing it on your keyboard. That's a really, really great feature that iOS has. Now, what's even better is the new option that Apple has added on iOS 17. And I suggest you turn it on right here. You go to your settings, password, turn it on here. It's called clean up automatically. Once you get that code, you use it. Of course, you can only use it once. Once it's used, the iOS will delete that message or that email automatically. Next up, we're talking about maps. On iOS 17, we have the new offline maps feature. Now, what I suggest you do here is go to the maps app, go to your profile, and here we'll have something called automatic updates and optimized storage. These are two settings that I believe every iPhone user must have turned on on their device. Now, automatic updates will automatically update your maps. So you don't have an outdated map when you're trying to use an offline map and then optimized storage will automatically remove downloaded maps you haven't used in a while. So if you really have downloaded maybe a map just for fun or something like that, it will automatically remove it. So it doesn't take a ton of space on your iPhone. Next up, we're talking about battery. And if you haven't noticed on iOS 17, we have a few options here under battery health. So when you go to battery health and you go to charging optimization, you don't only have the ability to turn on or off charging optimization, but you will also have the 80% limit, which means that no matter what, how long you keep your iPhone plugged in, it will only charge at 80%. Now, if you have a newer device like the iPhone 15 Pros or the 14 Pros, and you know that 80% will be enough for you during the day, then I would suggest that you actually turn on that option right there. That's the best option to keep the battery health like really good for a really, really long time. Next up are security updates, something that I suggest every iPhone user must do. This is really, really important. Even if you just don't want to install the latest all iOS up updates all the time, if you don't care about it, make sure that you at least 
have the security updates enabled head on to your settings go to software update and right here under automatic updates make sure you have a second one here enable security responses and system files so that you always get the latest security fixes for your iphone and last but not least private browsing on safari private browsing is not really that private when anyone can have access to your tabs of course while the device is unlocked but with ios 17 you have a setting here require face id to unlock private browsing make sure you have this enabled that of course will require the face id anytime you get out of safari or go switch from the private tabs to the normal tabs anytime you want to enter a private tab it will require authentication via face id so that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video go ahead leave a like if you enjoyed it if you found it helpful of course subscribe for more iowa 17.1 videos and i will see you on the next one